Zimbardo and his colleagues found that the illusion of a prison environment actually became a reality. At the start, both guards and prisoners settled into their new roles. However, only hours into the experiment, the guards began to show aggression towards the prisoners and started to torment the prisoners. The guards insulted the prisoners and gave them pointless and boring tasks to complete. If the prisoners refused to complete the task, the guards would punish the prisoners by taking away their mattresses and leaving them to sleep on concrete. The prisoners were dehumanised during the experiment. They took on the prison rules very seriously, as though the rules were set for their own benefit and breaking them would get them into a lot of trouble. Some prisoners even turned on other prisoners who did not conform to the rules. In the end, everyday healthy active people became brutal guards and sick zombie-like prisoners. The whole situation became so real that many of the prisoners developed extreme levels of stress and were released from the experiment. Zimbardo and his colleagues initially planned to observe the simulation for two weeks. However, the behaviour of the guards was so abusive he had to stop the experiment after six days. The findings from the Stanford Prison Experiment demonstrate that both prisoners and guards were de-individuated, but the guards and the prisoners behaved differently. The guards became aggressive, cruel and abusive towards the prisoners, whereas those socialised into the role of prisoners became compliant, powerless, quiet and passive. Consistent with the findings from the Milgram Electric Shock Experiment, the findings from the Stanford Prison Experiment seem to suggest that the personality explanations that we tend to use as a reason why some people do horrible things to others doesn't seem to hold up. The findings from both the Milgram and the Stanford Prison Experiments illustrate the power of the situation. These experiments showed that psychologically stable and normal members of the population can elicit abusive and degrading behaviours simply because the role allowed them to behave that way. The message of much of social psychology is that we all have the capacity to be horrible and we all have the capacity to be great. How we behave depends on the situation and the environment that we are in.